hello guys and then welcome to another video um per our previous video we took time to talk about how to find our modulus and then arguments okay so we'll be talking about converting those modulus and arguments into their polar form and then convert the polar form into rectangular form okay so in case you are new here kindly subscribe to the channel and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploaded videos Okay, so first we have to know how to represent our complex numbers to their polar form okay so um you could have a complex number in this form okay something like this so this is z we, al we already know that the r represents the modulus and then the theta is our argument okay so we know the formula for finding the modulus and then our theta right so after finding the modulus and then our argument you have to convert them sometimes you need to convert your modulus and then argument into the polar form right and sometimes you need to do that for the rectangular form okay so sometimes to you would have to convert the same polar and then rectangular form into um, certain exponential form that's where you have powers of the complex number okay so something like this right yes and then you have to convert it into the polar form okay and then into the rectangular form right okay so once we know this and then we've already gone through how to find the the modulus and an argument in the previous video in case you haven't watched the previous video kindly do so so that you get to understand what we are, we'll be talking about in this video okay so let's get right into finding the um, or converting complex numbers certain complex numbers into their polar form all right so from the previous video you could you could remember that we use the formula um, r okay or z Okay, the z right finding the modulus we use this formula right found the squared plus y squared right and then for the argument we use the tan, tan inverse of y on x right now after finding that you 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 will end up um, calculating your modulus and then your argument but we won't be doing any manual calculation over here so we'll be just using a calculator to find uh you know final values or final answers in their polar and then convert the same polar form into rectangular form okay right so from this um, you, you can convert the following complex numbers into polar form okay there's no need to manually find the the modulus and then the argument okay so we'll be just using the calculator to do that okay so let's just get right into this kindly subscribe okay subscribe and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any tricks or calculator hacks okay so let's take the first example okay so the first example is um negative three that's the real side and then positive four i okay so first you have to always put your calculator to the complex format okay so let, let's just clear everything shift my three call to sign and easy and then we just click on mode and then you select true okay right so just punch this to your calculator okay um okay so we have negative three plus four i okay so after punching this Kindly pay attention, okay, so that you don't miss out on any step, okay. So after punching the negative three positive four i, you click on shift, okay. Click on shift and then you click on true, because that's where you have the complex number format, okay. So after clicking on shift and two, this pop-up menu will just appear on your on your calculator. So you click or choose three okay this is where you can convert the rectangular form okay the rectangular form of the complex number into 
a polar form right just by using a calculator so we click on three okay click on three and then this one will appear and then you just click on equal to sign so from this from our previous video you could see that we manually calculated for the modulus alone and then we did the same for the argument okay and then we had something like five to be the modulus and then we had a certain angle of 50 50 something right point something okay and then we added no we subtracted 180 because i already stated that whenever you meet any complex number and then the real portion of the complex number is negative subtract 180 from the argument you you calculate okay or you end up with so the calculator will just do that straight away for you but once you want to do that manually you would have to subtract 180 from the argument so in case you don't remember that you can can go back to the previous video and then find out more okay so let's take the second example so we have positive 3 plus 3 roots 3 you have to be very very careful over here don't put the i or j inside the um, root sign okay just click on the right okay just click on the right and then you click on the i sign after that you click on shift then two and then you choose the three again so it will automatically convert this into the polar form for you right six and then you have a modulus to be 60 degrees so let's take the third example and we have negative three minus four i okay the same thing again you just click on shift two then you click on three okay right so there you have it you have five and then the angle to be modulus five and angle to be minus one two six point eight seven okay now you could see that as for the iv you could have something like this okay an expression like this okay so all you have to do there's no need to panic the same procedure okay just punch the expression on the calculator and then you end up with the answer okay let's take that example so we have the bracket sign right and then we have minus 3 plus 4i right and you close your brackets then you raise that to the power 2 okay again click on the shift complex and then choose the 3 again then you end up with a final answer okay same thing there's no need to go through the manual calculation okay once you know this you are true okay let's take the last example okay and then um so we have brackets 3 plus 4 i okay and then you close the bracket to raise it to the power 3 okay right and then we choose our complex right three and then there you have it okay this is our final answer once you try this manually you end up with the same answer okay now let's take a look at converting this this was converting your rectangular complex number into their polar form okay converting pair this formula okay converting this into that this into this now we have to convert this into this okay this into that so let's take our first example okay so we are converting the polar form into the rectangular form right so let's take our first example right okay so we have this kindly follow me and then you get to understand okay, we have this so we have kindly pay close attention to this section okay so we have roots okay we have root of 13 right so you have 13 right and then you click on this sign now this is how you punch this sign okay so click on shift right and then you click on this one okay click on this one there you have it okay and then you insert minus 56.31 okay after this you click on the shift okay click on a complex now we are trying to com 
um, convert the polar into the rectangular form okay so just click on 4 because this is how you can calculate the rectangular form of the polar expression okay so click on 4 right and then click on your answer yeah so this is 1.999 so it could be you could just run the 1.999 to just 2 so you have 2 and then negative 3 I okay just run them to their whole numbers so you have you have 2 and then negative 3 I okay so let's take the second example so we have 5 shifts that's and then what 53.13 okay then you click on shift again complex and you choose 4 okay then you end up with your final answer that's positive 3 and then positive 4i okay positive 4i we just run the 3.99 to the whole, whole number okay the nearest whole number okay so we have 3.0 plus 4.0 or 4i okay then let's move on to the to this one okay let's take the third example so we have five and then set that and then you insert the angle okay one two six point eight seven okay then you click on shift complex and then choose four okay then you end up with your final answer that's negative three positive four i okay four i you can see the three point nine and convert that to four that's to the nearest whole number so you have four i okay so let's take the fourth example okay something like this format okay so we have we have um, open brackets and then choose this one then we have 13 right and click on the right side then you click on shift this sign again and then you punch minus 56.31 okay and then you close it and then you insert your power okay okay three right click on this and then now you click on shift complex then choose four okay to sign then you have minus 46 minus 9i okay just run the this one to the nearest whole number okay so you have minus 46 minus 9i okay so let's take the last example okay the last example you can try the last example with me okay so let's take the last example um, we have open brackets five shifts that's and then we have 53.13 okay close the bracket raise it to the power two okay then click on shifts complex and then choose that four okay there we go so we have minus seven positive 24i okay so this is how you solve polar and then rectangular forms of complex numbers okay this is how you convert the polar form of a complex number to the rectangular form okay converts polar form of the complex number into the rectangular form okay yes you convert it into the rectangular form right and then this is where you convert the rectangular form into the polar form okay right okay this is where you have that okay okay for these examples and then these are for these examples okay yes okay so hope you understood this portion of the video so in the next video we'll be talking about um, um complex numbers in terms of trick functions okay
that's why you have the course and science and time so i'll be i'll be taking you through that section of the complex numbers but the fun part is you could also use the calculator okay nobody will tell you that your lecturer will just go through the entire calculation part you might even be confused whilst learning it or trying to understand it but i'll first take you through how to solve that systematically so that you get to understand and then i'll bring in the calculator trick so that it will stimulate your studies okay so thanks for staying with me till the end kindly subscribe to the channel and then share okay share the video and then in case you have any question just leave that question in the comment section below and then i will respond to you as soon as possible okay we'll see you in the next video bye bye